Hey, hello everyone, Pally Tim here. Welcome back to Rogue Legacy 2. Today we're checking out the new weapon for gunslingers added in this huge patch for Rogue Legacy 2. The weapon they get is called the Blunderbuss. It's a fabled weapon, massive recoil, and always fires two shots. It cannot be canceled. Can be aimed, press RB to reload, and the last shot, skill crits. So it's a two shot combo and the second part of the combo is guaranteed to crit. Keep in mind, we are a maxed out dexterity build. So something like this should be excellent for us if we like the way the weapon handles. I have a little bit of money after the last run. When I have extra, I'm just throwing it into armor up here. I'm not sure if we're at the armor cap yet or not for what we're actually absorbing. Uh, but we've moved up a couple difficulties recently and usually armor is what helps out with smoothing out runs. Uh, so this is the weapon. We aim it just like the other gunslinger weapon. We are locked in place. I'm even trying to dash. I'm trying to jump. Nothing is affecting that. And here is the shot off to the side. It looks like several pellets. Super fast reload on that. Wow. Very fast reload on that. Uh, let's see what the damage looks like on the target dummy. So there is a spread. So the closer we are, the more damage we're going to do. But it looks like each of the pellets does crit at the end. And there's four. We're shooting eight shots every volley. Hey, not too bad. I actually like that quite a lot. Today we're heading into the Kregluian Plateau. I still don't say that right. But what are you going to do about it? Our objective here is to find two lilies of the valley. Hopefully the inhabitants of the zone don't make that too hard for us. We are going to take some damage a meat. Oh God, very awkward starting area. That didn't quite work out the way I wanted. The chicken gods saw what happened though, and they are here to make it better. Uh, the lilies of the valley can be anywhere inside of the zone. There's no set area or anything. This is the environmental effect for the plateau. These um, red areas also grow ice making them even more difficult to deal with we have a plant guarding the door over here but one blunderbuss volley is enough to immediately eliminate that threat that's what i like to see same thing on that guy there as an invulnerable bat starts to gap close onto us bro if we can get close that damage is impressive wow Bat coming up to meet us. We'll just give him a few quick spin kicks to the head to secure that kill. Just saw that worm above us. Wow. The reload time actually makes this feel really snappy. I was expecting, you know, with the change, here's one of our lilies of the valley, that the it would almost be like a shotgun where you fire two things and then you have to reload your shells really quickly. Or slowly i guess is what i was envisioning but this is actually pretty snappy pretty smooth that potion's gonna bring us back up to full health see if we could just yeah finish off that starfish immediately the worm meets the same fate this is a monster up close bro now it does come some with some problems if i interrupt that reload it does feel a little awkward to get the shot back but that could be learned pretty quickly i could get over that hump pretty fast uh zombie underneath here we just but we didn't fully kill it i got ahead of myself and because i took damage it canceled that reload which means i have to start over from scratch another zombie above us that spread a little too oh i think what's happening with the spread is some of it is just being absorbed by the ground so you do kind of have to be careful with where you're aiming it and it does bop you up into the air so even if i'm getting close to an enemy to try to deal max damage it does sling me a little further away uh, it looks like I'm still landing most shots on enemies when I get close, but something to keep in mind, I guess. Yeah, even without the skill crits, that first volley is still chunking super hard. New zombie appeared out of nowhere. He's going to do three dashes and then be idle. So, oh, let's get down there when he's idle. Still outliving that point blank damage. There's my reload. Wolf taken down, no problem. We know this wolf can get to that same platform. Let's wait for him to move back over to this side. Reload. Perfect. It seems like if I can bait enemies to fight where I want them to be, this is pretty straightforward. 
I don't know how good it's going to be on the boss of this zone because that's fought in a very big open area. Lots of ads, lots of things zooming around, but given the opportunity to stay close, hard to be mad about that damage. Very hard to be mad. Not seeing any glowing, so I'm not expecting a zombie. These guys are. Oh, there we go. Immune to damage because of that flower that we took down already. Reload really fast. He's just going to do fire into the side. Perfect. And we'll grab this chest. Already up to 141,000 gold for this run, and we are just beginning. Although this zone isn't that big or anything. We're not going to spend a ton of time here. We are starting to see some issues with the range of this. Make sure I reload. Okay. The guy in the middle needs to die first because he's armor shredding. He would make the rest of our run harder, or at least, you know, until we find a mana potion to get our armor back. Cleared the room out. No problem, though. Not having too many issues dodging. Uh, ooh, haven't done this one in a while. Okay, here's how you do it. You spin kick all of these, then every other one on this side, land in the middle, open the chest. It's been a hot minute since we've seen that puzzle. Hope I helped someone solve it. Oh, shotgun blast, a little over, I, it felt overconfident, but I mean, at the end of the day, I guess it was super effective. That one, not as much because I missed half of the pellets on that target quick reload and quick reposition we take down the starfish while his axe is spinning we move in to finish him off and is it hunting season because that there's no wolf hunting season <laughs> but we shot it with a blunderbuss anyway i'm gonna go ahead and use our spell here as they are pretty grouped up we are gonna take some damage still uh resonate off that oh a lot of ice in this room I'm not feeling this all of a sudden, and I don't have enough mana to use my spell again. Reload got canceled. We see kind of the clunkiness of this come into play. If you get interrupted, yeah, look at the downtime there. Just because I took damage during the animation. I'm not saying that's a bad thing. It's just like it should have drawbacks for the record. It's just something I didn't foresee. Uh, is that all for this room? This is a triple charge zombie. There's one, there's two. He's never going to get to charge again. Uh, hopefully the chicken gods see our struggle and will give us a little bit of food. Oh, the pizza gods. Hello. And our second lily of the valley for our gunslinger. Oh, chicken gods too. They heard me. They heard me. They were here. Okay, perfect. We have enough to open up the boss room now. There is a third one usually as well. You, uh, you don't have to find all of them. Uh, and it is worth mentioning that they do take up a little bit of resolve at the same time. You do get that resolve back once you enter the boss room. But uh, if you're going for a really high resolve build, keep that in mind that you are ow, giving up a little bit of that right now. It's not quite as bad as the dry lake. Nowhere close to as bad as the dry lake. Gonna try Prismatic here. These guys were relatively grouped up enough to make it happen, I think. Wasn't sure if my reload ever happened. It sure did. There is a volcano plant above me, immune to damage for a few hits. I wonder how that works. Do we deal four hits? I mean, do we deal eight hits with the volley? You know what I mean? Can we break through that shield quickly? I guess it depends how accurate I'm being. Kind of close quarters there, but we managed to dodge around that guy. No problem. Continuing off to the right. So we're going to reset. Shoot. Get this. And hopefully leave before that becomes too much of a problem. Zombie on our right. That was a double charge zombie. We managed to take him down before the second charge. Good blunderbuss damage on that starfish as we kick up to the next level. We have a... Okay. A little too much going on at the entrance here for me. Did we get the reload? No, we didn't. It got canceled by the spin kick as well. Something to keep in mind. Small plants inside of the snowbank there. Oh, cancel my reload again. Okay. Uh, do need to get behind this guy before he hits me with that. Don't want to get my armor shredded. Just do the same thing to the other guy. Wait, he's shooting explosives. Hide, take cover. Just walk forward, my friends. Uh, we're almost back up to full health. Uh, this is kind of weird. Just 
cause it to shoot, get out of the way. Here we go. All the way down to the chest. The walls in the middle made that slightly more complicated, but just took a second to figure it out. No big deal. He's immune. Let's kick up to the left. We have just enough room to finish him off. And it looks like all roads are pointing east. This leads to another lily of the valley. We're full health and we don't need to break any of that stuff. Uh, this actually... I don't think that can be the boss room. I don't think it's a big enough room. I'm kind of on the fence about it, though. Uh, oh, man. Comet form? Yes. Absolutely. Uh, this is the astrologer or whatever that class is called. Uh, their class ability. One of the best in the game, to be honest. A six second cooldown on that will also come into play with us needing to position closely to stuff. Like we could just zoom in, zoom out really, really easily. Unfortunately, I canceled my reload the first time, so it wasn't quite as graceful as it could be, but we're about to see the potential now. Uh, I'm not going to break any of these boxes until we get the chest up top. And then, like, if these guys... We got this whole room to mess with here. If they get close to us, we just use our new immunity that we picked up. I'll break a few boxes so they land down in the pit now, but... Uh, very happy with this clear, if that wasn't obvious. Uh, actually really enjoying this gun quite a lot. I think the devs did a great job with these new class weapons. They feel really, really good. Uh, this is a lore room here. If you beat the prime boss, there's also a scar right here for anyone looking for it. We're also in the market for a little bit of HP, but I don't actually think those can spawn in there. I don't think you can get chicken in there. Uh, might be wrong, though. Uh, just going to continue, right? Looks like we have found the boss room. Now, let's see if the blunderbuss has what it takes to get a win. Uh, we're on New Game Plus 12. Keep that in mind. The game is very difficult at this point. But I'm pretty good at this fight normally. Estuary Nama of the Harvest. And we're starting really, really close to land some good critical hits here, too. Uh, need to make sure we don't hover too long in front of those uh, scroll areas. But other than that, we should be good to go. Uh, un unfortunately, stood directly on that projectile as it was forming. Oh, reload messed up there. Kind of messed up my rhythm. Oh, oh, God. Okay. Reload not being there once again feels weird. Just dash right through. Once we hit phase two, things will get a little more complicated. I can't remember if there's health in this one. Doesn't look like there is. Let's just go immune. Wait down here. Ah, uh, because I'm animation locked, that's what's feeling weird about this. I want to do just small little repositions here and there, like right there. But because I missed that shot and I'm animation locked, I get uh, and the reload messed up. Uh, okay. That was just attempt number one. We could do better than that. Oh, another thing worth mentioning about this character is that they scale even better with intelligence damage. So even though I max dexterity, if we had a mage build, this class would honestly be better for us, probably. All right, take two. Let's see how this works out for us. I'm going to start off with a poison blast just to get some elemental effects going. Make sure I do finish off with that reload. Almost got knocked back into that area of effect there. That was almost unfortunate. We could just continue to bounce off of this stuff and try to clear it out. Uh, we are going to need to uh, get these resonators that are actually chasing us down, though. We don't have the immunity from the, uh, the class ability that we picked up. But so far, we don't even need it. Our movement's a lot better this time. Uh, is he going to dash forward here? No, 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 no. I do need to get out of that area of effect. Resonators are fine. And we have plenty of room to dodge this, too. Let me get another uh, poison on this dude. On this girl. Nama is a woman. Uh, that being on the right doesn't affect me at all. We're chilling. These resonators do. And they're happening during the transition. That was almost bad because it almost overlapped with this red area spawning. Okay, dash through. Didn't quite get it. Make sure I finish the reload this time. 
Uh, dash. Perf. Oh, almost perfect. I'm running out of jumps. Oh, 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 too close. Too close. All right, a lot of the room is actually closed off to me right now. Especially with these scrolls reforming. Let's. Oh, my goodness. Oh, that's really bad placement up there. I'm going to have to play really aggressively on the right or something. I actually don't know what to do here. Maybe we just ride this out for a second. Okay, I can disable this now, but now these are out of sync, which is kind of awkward. Uh, get out of that resonator field. Fuck, the reload canceled, messed me up. It's not that you're missing out on the damage. It's that your expected movement drastically changes. That's the really hard part of it. All of a sudden, I'm flying forward when I'm expecting my character to be stationary. If that helps describe, like, if visually you can't tell why the reload thing is messing me up as bad as it is, I think that's why. Uh, we're getting close to the victory. This thing's coming active again. I'm gonna have to play up here for a minute or two. There we go. We found an opening. Send it down. Resonator spawning right next to that explosion area yet again. We found the opening. Do the damage. Dash. Good shots. Okay, turn these off one more time. Can't get to that one. We'll have to play this side of the room. Oh, very nicely done. Wow! Whoa! Uh, hey, let's play this side of the room. That's weird. <laughs> Don't do that very often. Uh, we win with the next shot. There it is! Very, very, very fun weapon. I might actually prefer this over the default weapon for the class. And out of the... I liked the umbrella, don't get me wrong, but out of the, the new weapons we've played with so far, this one feels like just a straight-up upgrade over the gunslinger pistol that you start with. To me, anyway. Well, mission accomplished. We cleared this out, no problem. Let me know in the comments what you think of the new gun. If you're brand new to the channel, we'll be back with more Rogue Legacy 2 very soon, so make sure you subscribe. And if you enjoyed today's video, hit that thumbs up button. I'll see you guys again very soon.